Hello, welcome to Miss Divinity. I am here for your bi weekly love reading for my lovely Aquarius. And the crazy part is, Aquarius, I did your reading. Crazy. And why did I accidentally delete it? But the crazy part is, when I did it, I did it last night. And something was like, oh, don't upload it right now. And then I accidentally deleted it this morning because I have to clear my phone because I got so much shit on it. And every time I do a video, I gotta delete it after once it uploads. And I forgot that I didn't upload it because I usually always instantly upload when I do a reading. And I guess it just wasn't meant for y'all to have that. So, <laughs> if you're uh, new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. See it with me now. There are 999,000 other readers out there. Um, if it does not resonate for you, as we are all on different timelines, it could be past, present, and future energy for some. Okay? And if it doesn't resonate at all, Go down the block, spin the block, uh, come back, check me out next week, maybe when the energy is different, or find someone that's in your tribe that resonates with you. That's a lot of different tarot readers for this reason. But if you want a personal and you understand how this goes, reach out to me at MrVenergy at gmail.com or on Wizio, okay? But, you know, some people are new. They don't, you know, they don't understand it. So, just have to give that brief, uh, what do you call that, disclaimer. Okay, Aquarius, let's get to it. We have divine timing. So patience, perseverance, peace. Something is working on divine timing. We have ego. Okay, like ego came up a lot in your last reading, okay? Just gonna keep it real. And we have marriage and control. Yes, and it was somebody that was controlling. So it seems like it's bringing back up the same energy. Winter. Somebody could still left that in the cold, or you can. Yeah, blessings. Even though somebody might have left you out in the cold, left you to deal with something on your own. I'm hearing obligations. Um, yeah, left you to your own obligations on your own. Some type of battle. Uh, you're going to receive blessings. You're going to receive a lifeline, okay? A help. All this was a part of divine timing. It's a lot of cards. I'll just take the one that fell on what I was looking at. Yeah, divine timing had to happen to somebody to have some type of awakening. Okay, somebody's calling me, but I'm not going to stop y'all video. Okay, somebody could be uh, interrupting you guys or trying to call while you taking care of those obligations they left you to do by your damn self. Okay, Aquarius. But yeah, uh, divine timing just had to happen. Realization to see how somebody may be really moved. Somebody is, uh, some of you guys be dealing with the Scorpio. We have transformation. Yeah, this crossroads or something that made you have to have a choice or different paths or whatever uh it's causing somebody to transform or somebody's ego to transform like somebody don't have all the facts now they're not so sure of their self you or them aquarius um for some somebody's in a maybe a controlling marriage or a controlling situation ship Hmm, then it's like, well, what did I even have to go through this for? It was a detour. It was showing you the more somebody, um, if they're controlling now, if they want to get married, they're going to be even more controlling. And saying, slow down, detour. Or like I said, if you guys are just talking and they're real controlling, where you at? What you doing? Why you with them? Why? You? And we just talk, just talking two weeks. That's too much. It's, it's controlling. Like, I barely know you. I'm getting to know you. You don't need to know in the, all the ins and outs of my life. That's crazy. Um, because if I want to get rid of you or if I don't really like you, that's why people, I don't understand when people just, oh, we're cute. We like each other. Phone number. Boom. The first week, like you did that shit when you was young. First week, we we're together. You're sleeping up. Like, no, nah, I don't move like that. I ain't moved like that in long, long years. Okay. Years, 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 years. Probably 20, 25 years ago. Seriously. Uh, well, I'm going to say 20 because I'm only 36. But you know what I mean? Like I was 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, maybe 22, probably like 10, 16 years ago. I ain't moved like that. But um, it, you will have some way to get out of this. It's some type of hidden path to get you out of this. Like, something had to wake you up. Maybe somebody's super controlling. You're seeing it. Maybe people around you are, yeah. Um, time out. It keeps saying time out. Slow down. Detour. Go in a no direction. Yeah, something is like, eh, eh, eh. Hit the bell. Eh, eh, eh. Like, I, I don't know. I'm just seeing something flashing. Eh, somebody sound like an alarm. Uh... Mm, maybe this is a warning to someone like don't 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 jump that broom baby or don't get in that real situation that real uh commitment we have official person yeah somebody could be uh um, i don't know why i'm hearing studious i don't know yeah um this could also be a situation where someone now this kind of came up too someone is more well off 
and somebody this this is the same reading that's coming out that's the crazy part and somebody can need someone um yeah it's like somebody was down and out somebody have a black cat somebody was down and out and like this official person was like i can take you in and clean you up and show you the good life kind of giving a like blue face and Krishan. i said this on somebody else's reading where he said not the same dynamic but she was like this man was there for me when nobody else was and i'm not promoting or condoning anything they got going on they are a wreck on wheels okay wreck on wheels if you know Krishan and Blueface, if you don't google them you'll see it you'll see something about them in the fucking news every day at this point i'm just thinking that they this is how they getting famous and it works for some people but whatever uh, but all the drama, I think I just sent the clip of them getting into it again on live yesterday. Like, they are crazy. They fight each other. They fuck each other up. They be drunk. I hope not on drugs, but when you're famous, it's usually the road to go down. Um, but, yeah, they wanted me to bring that up. Okay, he's like, I'm her manager. He controls all that. Like, mm. And then it's like she feels like she owes him that loyalty because he helped her out of her place, put her in a better position from what she says i don't know but she's saying it so obviously that's how she feels um but yeah it's like he 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 runs the show okay now she fucks him up too don't don't ever get it twisted but yeah in regards to making the plans and this being his his houses and all that shit it'd be his shit so he's uh in control this could be a woman that maybe doesn't work or and it's like, yeah, I gotta, if I leave, I'm going to be uh, uh, poor as hell, cleaning shit up, be, you know, uh, a maid doing maybe janitorial work or shit I'm not used to. But when I'm with this person, it's great fortune because it's like, yes. And it's like, well, I, well, I'll come over. Yes, you've never been to a dinner like this. You've never uh, seen high ceilings like this. Come on, you can move in. You know what? You can leave all those bags outside. Yeah, those dirty little bags. Yeah, somebody knew that you, we knew you'd be back. Yeah, somebody could have left and tried to leave somebody. I don't even pull cards, and I'm pulling it. Yeah, th this person could have, you could have been from afar. Yeah, I'm hearing mail order bride or some shit. Passport bros. Okay, uh, yeah. I, I don't know if this is what's going on. If you don't know what a mail order bride is, Google it. If you don't know what the passport bros are, it is a not a new movement. They said this has been going on for a while, but I've seen a few TikToks or some shit come across my YouTube or shorts or whatever. But you know, they're originally TikToks. Um, and there is this group of men, uh, mostly black men in this new movement of it, but they said the white men have been doing this for years. But black men are jumping on the train, the majority of them. They've probably been doing it back in the day, too. But, you know, you got to articulate and detail everything or people get offended. But anyway, some black men are jumping on the train and going to Barbados and Brazil and all because we don't listen and we're too independent and they just want us to cook, clean, and suck dick all day. They're going over there to these other places to do it, okay? So this is giving me the energy of... I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I get a little passionate. But this is pretty much what they want. It's like, we want women to listen to us and um, cater to our sexual needs and pretty much clean while we bring the money. The crazy part is half of these motherfuckers don't got money. Anybody that's that heard of that movement, the crazy part is they don't be having money. Do you, it's been like four, five of them and a, a trail of them that are getting stuck over in these countries and are stranded. And some that do have money, they are getting set up and robbed by these women. Yeah, like... All right, you better stick to the uh, rivers and the lakes that you used to. Don't go chasing waterfalls. And I don't know why I'm hearing that. But yeah, the distant horizons came out, and that's what made me think of it. Like somebody could have been uh, brung in or need a green card or whatever. And it's like, yeah, you're here to get a better life, and I'm here to get somebody to do what the fuck I tell them to do. And if it's like not out of country, it's like somebody that is, uh, has more money and somebody doesn't. Yeah, see, somebody's coming from a long way to get sudden wealth or somebody's coming to them to bring them wealth. Yeah, somebody's like, yeah, I hit the jackpot. You thought you hit the jackpot. Now this motherfucker want you to scrub the floors with a toothbrush. You ain't got nowhere else to go. No family. They didn't got you far or to move far away. Um, yeah, if they're talking about moving far away and getting you and you got a, like a close-knit family, oh yeah, they trying to get you. I don't know why I'm feeling all this. But I see somebody like with a big ego, my way or the highway. They want to get married because then they really control your ass. Yeah, somebody wants somebody to be of service. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This ain't going to be for everybody, but it's going to be for who the fuck it's for, all right? Yeah, somebody wants you to be of service. You are a help 
made, bitch. See, I don't know why my mouth is so potty today. Somebody could cuss a lot because I just got in this reading and just want to say all type of, yeah, be of service. And it's like, no. Or, like I said, you got a male or a female that wants you to be of service, and that's it. We're supposed to serve each other. That's what a relationship is, serving each other. They just want you to be of service. Like like I said, I kept saying help maid. Somebody wants you to be a maid. And somebody's like, no, I'm not doing that shit. Baby. She over here down by the lake. Look, it's like this big-ass palace in the background. She down by the lake like, what have I done? Yeah, somebody wants somebody to be of service. It's like, I brought you here to do this. Now you don't want to do it? Uh -huh. All right. You better figure it out because, uh, yeah. Weird reading. See, so yeah, that's probably why I wanted to be, this came up. Uh, the control, the, um, the ego, it all came up. Somebody with money and somebody maybe without or less. Yeah, for this, whoever this is, that even if it's just minute, somebody could make a couple do extra dollars than you, and they like, well, I'm I'm the man of the house, or I'm the woman of the house, and you should do. It, it's just giving me the dynamic of somebody should do more because they get less. Even if you're doing some shit, even if you're working, well, you I work twelve hours and you work ten, so I feel like you should do all the laundry, the cooking, the cleaning, the babies. The, like what? We need a schedule at this point. We gonna have to split these burdens in half, and that's what they were saying, like. Women should want 50-50, not if y'all got kids. Look, I'm telling you, you deserve love. Again, a wedding. Somebody wants to tie the knot or commit something. I'm telling you. Even on this card, this card has just been giving me the heebie-jeebies lately. But it's just like the man is like, mm-hmm. And the woman's looking like, I don't know. It's just like, not, like I could have picked a way better card for a wedding. Don't y'all think? These people don't even look happy. They look weird. Phew. Yeah, I'm hearing Joan of Arc. Yeah, this is about some women independent shit. Like, look at her. Some of, some of you guys be dealing with Saggy with this bow here. And it's just like, fuck that wedding. Pow, I deserve real love. I ain't come to be a maid. What the hell? I don't know, y'all. I just read messages. The cards just correlate. Yeah, sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for us truly. Yeah, sacred union. Like, you want something. For some, it could be, like, secret or. But, yeah, somebody wants a sacred union. Somewhere where we're really bonding. Not sweeping all day and night. And you're barely here because you're on business trips. And you want me to take care of it. You could have bought a maid for that. That's why I'm hearing. Like, you could have bought a maid for this shit. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Yeah, somebody's unhappy. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. Yeah, somebody's not accepting someone as they are. I want you to wear this. I want you to do this. I want my house to look like this. I want my... Like, they're not going to let you decorate. They're not going to let... This is giving me somebody with a nice amount of money. And they are, they have an ego. And they are like an official person. And they like what they like, and they want it a certain way. And those type of people, you do have to be a male or a bride or whatever, because you are nothing but arm candy. Somebody could want somebody to be arm candy. They didn't push me back from the car. I didn't set the fuck back. Like, somebody could do this, like, yeah. Um, and wipe my shoes off as well. Can you take my shoes off, Karen? Like, they want they want you to untie their shoes. Like, if my man came home from a construction job he was doing, I'm like, baby, take off your shoes. Yeah, every now and then, I'm like, let me undo your shoes, baby. I got your house. Some shit like that. But this is like, this person likes schedules, times. Like, if they come in at uh, 5, they want you to be in at 5. I don't give a fuck if you out with your mama or whatever. Dinner should be served by 6.30 on the diet. Every, like, for real. Like, somebody don't play. They like what they like. And they like a boss? Because I, like, want to sit back and do this. I don't know why. Somebody could do this. Or sit there when you come in. Yes. What do you want, Karen? It's like, damn, I want to hug a kiss, but I was done um, with the laundry. Oh, yes. Um, And start planning for the party on the 17th that we're having. Okay. And you get out and close the doors like a party planner or you're a woman or a man. Like I said, a woman could be doing this. Yeah, somebody's like wishing like I wish I knew what real love was like. Somebody got into something that's contractual. If it's not this deep, I, I love the scenario because it's funny. But if it's not that deep, it's just like, what did I get myself into? Yeah, I keep seeing this woman with these bags and trudging around. Maybe she needed somewhere to live. But somebody could walk away from this shit. Yeah, for once, somebody, like, got somebody because they were down and out, or they needed help, or daddy issues. Somebody preyed on a victim. It's somebody that wants to escape this shit. Like, once they heal, it was all cute at first when you saved me. Yeah, I'm here, pretty woman. When you saved me, but now this person has got their energy back and all this, and they are ready to set the fuck sail. 
yeah it's showing me like on a deserted island like and she look like tribal look at her leg tattoos those are cute tribal on the beach it's given secluded island and it's like oh i love this person they made me sure i was so safe they're in a nest that's like a baby mama bird in a nest okay and once they healed it's like oh i got plans for your motherfucking ass mm-hmm and it's like i gotta get out of here I don't know I'm here hit the ground running. Yeah, it's like, I wish I knew what real love was. Or is this how love's supposed to be? I'm telling you, four wands with this person with these bad... Like, somebody... Somebody led something to believe that it was all fun and games. And it's like, when somebody realized it was burdensome, and they like, yeah, I could blow this popsicle stand, as my mom would say. It was all fun before. It ain't fun now. Yeah, somebody's illuminated on something, and they're like, well, I'm going to walk away from this. I'm going to go ahead and head out. Because, baby. Yeah, because even in these pictures, I don't know why they're giving me big maid vibes. Even in these pictures, she has, like, on this old-ass white dress, just looking like maid shit. Or somebody leaves someone on their wedding day. That's a weird one. It's like a, a tattered and torn bride. Somebody also can be getting physically abused. Yeah, I'm hearing he does it to them all. Ah, Y'all look. And I was getting like sisterhood, sister wives is coming back. I don't know. Somebody just has a brothel of women and they just treat them like. And I believe I was telling y'all about the fucking movie. That's what it was. They bringing that movie back. They want me to bring that movie back. Unless this was another reading, but they want me to bring it in yours. But I'm pretty sure it was yours. He had these women. If y'all can remember the movie, put it in the comments below. It was a movie, I don't know, maybe like six years back at the most. And it was a guy, and I really want to watch it. And it was like one of those cult things. They lived in little villages in the in the woods and shit. And they would travel and go find new places and get house, build houses. They lived in like the woods, though, like in the valleys or whatever, not in the house. And they were somewhere where they lived and built houses or whatever. And the man would impregnate the women. But it was like 20 women. He was fucking off, okay? And then they would get older and then he would do it to their daughters. And I don't know why they keep saying a brothel. I don't know why I'm hearing that. But he would do it to them. Nobody else was doing it to him. So it wasn't like prostitution. But they was just doing it to him. So when the other older women started getting jealous because they loved him and wanted to be with him. And they, they were old news though because he would already slutted y'all out and did whatever. And somebody could want somebody's daughter in real life. I'm just saying, this is the shit that's just coming to me. And uh, he would be like, oh, you're old or whatever. Then the daughters, they would be like happy. Because when they come of age, they get to do it with them and all that. Like, it was weird as shit. And uh, one girl was like, this is weird. This is crazy. Why are we doing this? She stirred the pot, baby. She was ready to get the fuck up out of there. I don't remember exactly how it went, but I believe that they uh, he fucked, up, fucked them up, left them something. I believe she got the fuck up out of there. But if you remember that movie, put it in the comments. I, I I end up liking it, though. But it was just real crazy how all these women were brainwashed. Yeah, that's why I say he does not to them all. Somebody does this shit. Mm, yeah, they didn't want to let that uh message go, baby. Because that's exactly what I had gotten in the other one. All right, Aquarius. Uh, they want me to pull a couple of these. I was going to end it. Okay. Yeah, for some, this could be a doctor. The doctor card is looking at me here. And I keep trying to avoid it, and it keeps showing. Yeah, it's like something that wants to hold you back. It doesn't want you to be great. Like I said, if it's not that deep, it's just somebody that don't want you to be great. Well, look what I said. It could be a doctor. I was looking at this card on my other deck sitting here. Because it's two sides to them, you know, doctor, whatever. Um, And then this card came out with a fucking doctor. I'm telling you, somebody could be a doctor. Or I'm hearing somebody says he plays doctor some weird shit going on i'm seeing here like epstein or, i don't know was he in aquarius i don't know maybe it's that kind of um yeah this person could keep these people drugged or do experiments this, this is getting real weird now yeah but somebody wants to get out of there they like look we gonna turn the lights on on this shit yeah, motherfucker hurt the wrong one or tried to get the wrong one or tried to trap the wrong one because it was reminding me of that girl from the movie that was like, this is crazy. And then when they came on their periods, he was like, 
they were dirty and unclean. They had to live in this dirty ass house and shit and couldn't come anywhere near him when they were on their period. Like it was their damn fault. Yeah, look, I'm telling you, these bitches is in, shoot, sorry. These females are in white at dirty attire. Like this is reminding me of that movie. I'm gonna try to find that movie. I'm just getting some real dark messages here. This is crazy. Like, look. For some, it could be a Scorpio that stirs the pot with this or reveals this. Or like, say you get with somebody and somebody reaches out and messages you like, no, don't don't talk to this person. They did me woo 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 like this. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Ruin. So just Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Swords. Just as much as this is a lot of money, it's a lot of heartache and bullshit with it, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm hearing that song. What you won't do, do for love. We try, but I that. Mm, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, Aquarius, this was the re weirdest reading out of all 12. I got one more to go for the first of the 15th. If it does not fit or if you know anybody going through this shit, a controlling ass man or something, maybe this is for it. Maybe you need to be talking to her or him. Talking about you deserve love or maybe it's a friend coming around. They want me to say this and I don't usually do it. That's going to get married to this. Oh, I'm hearing slime ball sleeves bag. I don't fucking know. No. Or in a strong relationship, no, okay? And if somebody's trying to get with somebody for money, they might be surprised to find out this motherfucker's a weirdo and got some deep shit going on. All right, like, subscribe, hit that bell. So you know when I'm dropping another video. Bye, Aquarius. <laughs>